So this is a life-size um, birthing simulator from Canada. Uh, she uh, does multiple things for us. Uh, she has a milk receival can inside her so we can fill it with milk and teach students how to strip for mastitis. She also has a 35 kilo life-size calf that lives inside her, inside a birthing track so we can teach students how to um, simulate birth. Um, we also have uh, breeding tracks and we also have preg testing tracks inside her as well. I've had a play around with putting the calf in, taking the calf out, AIing her um, and just all those different aspects of it. Getting students into an animal that's very lifelike, they can feel what they're doing and also someone looking inside the animal to guide them through the process and where they are, where they should be and what they need to be doing. So I think in this day and age with animal ethics, it's getting harder and harder to use real animals. So by bringing in the simulator, we're avoiding those issues and giving the students the hands-on experience they need uh, before they step into the yards with real animals. Students are absolutely wrapped with her. Um, and I've had a lot of um, employers say that they wish this was around when they trained years ago. So she's amazing and people think she's fantastic. So when we work with students and we, we bring people in to look at her, um, the best thing about her is that she is life-size. Life she's based on Canadian genetics. So um, she's quite big, um, but she is in fact the size of a real Canadian cow. Everything about her is 100%. Her hip size, her backside, her udder, everything is as if you had your hands in a real cow. Yeah, she's phenomenal. Yeah, the different aspects of learning the areas of where your cervix is, your, um, your uterus, and just the different placements of the organs um, for students to actually, I suppose, physically hold these fake organs to get an idea of what they look like outside the animal so they know what they're looking for inside the animal. This would have been unreal to have. Um, it's, yeah, technology's evolved and have to, to have something like this in the southwest is unreal. This is a game changer.